Empire of Justice? No, probably not. Yeah. 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 not yet. Okay, About so 100 so ago, I went to the farm convention that they had up in Del Mar. And it was interesting, there was little, if any, attention given even to the concept of, of GM yeah. foods. Yeah. And it's almost like they're either in the dark or they don't know where what's going on. And it sounds like me, it's more of a need to educate. Now, I also had the pleasure about two weeks ago uh, listening to Jeffrey Smith. And yeah. he has an excellent book called Genetic uh, Roulette, yeah. which gives you a lot of actual published data as far as Why the effects of GM on right. animals and in what have you. So that's yeah. another great source. That yeah, is very true. And his other thing that he said, and I'll be quiet, it is that change. he said that He's the way that you could, he says you're not going to change the government, you're not going to change the industry, and he says there's like about a 5% tip point. He says when you can get the public to no right. longer exactly. buy a product exactly. and their sales drop by 5%, they'll pull it off the market. Exactly. And McDonald's did that. And McDonald's yeah, used point. the GE potato until 5% of its consumers said, what the heck are you doing? Yeah. And they pulled it. So that's our exactly our point, which is if it's labeled, people won't buy it, and if it's not purchased, they won't grow it. They'll find something else to do, but they aren't <laughs> going to be contaminating what is, you know, our concern, quite frankly, in the organic industry is it's a $17 billion industry that stands to lose everything through GE contamination. You will not be able to buy domestic organic food. You're going to have to buy imported organic food if it's truly going to be organic, because you can't be GE and organic. Yeah, um, how do they determine if organic has been contaminated? It how doesn't. Is it? So there's just look periodic testing. Yeah. Right, right, right. Is, it, is it visible or something? No, nope, not visible. Oh, it's yeah. in the lab. And if we can leave today, mm -hmm. I want you not to leave hopeless. I want you to know work is being done. It's kind of stealth at the moment. Uh, but there are lots of people like you who are interested and affected and concerned. They're just widely spread across the country. So we're not seeing any big national movement yet. But there are people who are getting more and more concerned about it, so that's a really good point. And secondly, the point about the money versus the people. Never forget, never forget that the thing that affects change is when the people organize. That is the way we defeat the money. It's the only way to defeat the money. So you have to stay informed and you have to stay ready. So when they announce October 1st is non-GMO day, you know, we go and support that. And then thirdly, if you could leave the room committed to the term genetically engineered, that would really be helpful. The messaging is so important. The messaging people and vital. It gets engineered in a lab by human intervention with basic DNA across the species line. I'm glad you said that because when I was protesting at the, at the um, American Association of uh, Scientists or whatever, they, there were so many scientists there who kept coming up to me and saying, people have been doing this for thousands of years. They didn't, they didn't exactly. even know. And these are people who have been researching for 30 years in this right. field. They didn't even want to be aware. So politicians surely aren't aware of the right. difference. And that's the message they're getting. This yeah. has been done. Thousands of years, it's natural selection, it's crossbreeding, it's what Mark, Mark, uh, Luther Bank Burbank did. Right. No, it's not. So Great I got message. another really outrageous one from a scientist from UC Riverside who's very <coughs> into GE research. He said, um, the idea of taking a fish gene and putting it into the tomato is no different than having a bouillabaisse soup where you have fish and tomato together <laughs> and you're eating both fish and tomato DNA and I'm like, no. <laughs> but you can choose to eat that or, or eat a tomato. Well, okay, thank you guys for coming.